Hello, hello, my lovely Sagis. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope the L are doing well. Sagis, y'all got the Venom, the Mother, the Orphan, the Unseen, the Healer, the Underworld, Gnosis, and the Mountain. Sagis. Oh, well, I mean, the Mother, the Venom, and the Orphan, and the Underworld. I just feel this sense of like when you operate from a wounded sense of identity you really cover up your value um, I just I feel like some of my Sagis have had have had, been having dreams um, I don't know if you're dreaming about another person or you're dreaming of like a life that you're living but you know this this feels like something that almost um, I don't know, it just feels like a gift. A gift in all the confusion. Because I don't know, I just feel like this this has been I don't know, this has been coming through though, but like this breath of this breath of breath of life, but it almost feels like a breath of vision. Um, like someone br breathed it into you. Um, I can't remember what read that was in, um, but it, but it, that's the same concept here, you know, just kind of that idea of like healing, healing the, like the, the valuable parts of you because um, you know, like there's an understanding that like when you clean the, when you clean it, it, it looks very differently. And I just kind of feel like you're, you're cleaning a lens off. Whatever this lens is for you, because I feel like my Sagis, you know, I, I know I have Sagis that, that are, are gifted, that have gifts. Um, you know, and I, and I feel like for a lot of my Sagis, you've experienced these gifts in a way that have just, they've left you feeling really, I don't know, like, like under attack and, and, you know, left, um, left at the, like the altar of identity, <laughs> I guess. Um, but, but there's something about like a clearing and a cleansing away refined by fire. Um, maybe you had a vision. Like a really, really in intense vision. But then a trance state. And then your state of, like your trance state, it was almost like this clarity that came over, like, Let's see. <laughs> um, Sagis. <laughs> Let's see what else we can get for y'all. The Tower and the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles um, is where I want to start because I just, I feel like there's an end that really like it just leaves you feeling heartbroken. Um, but it also serves as a catalyst for like having to clean away the, like whatever it was that was blocking your value from you. Um, I don't know because some of my Sagis that I've, that I've had in my life for years and years and years. Sagis that I've known forever and ever and ever, you know, <laughs> and they are get up and go, get up and do, you know what I mean? But, um, but I almost get this sense of feeling like maybe you got stuck somewhere. And then you have this vision, this dreams, whatever it is that you experience, 
that like it's almost like it it enlightens you and brings an awareness that allows you to go again. I feel like you can go again. I feel like I can go again. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Only this time, instead of feeling like you're running, I feel like you're you're going with a sense of having a home base. But you're going. You're going. You got new places to go. You got new directions to go in. You got new people to go with. And and whatever this vision was that you experienced, whatever this dream, whatever, however this plays out for you. It was really healing um, because it just feels like it like it cleared away something inside of you that was really covering up your value and I'm loving this new energy that you are having <laughs> Sadies. okay ten of wands I think that was the Ace of Cups, but I'm not too for sure. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Fortune Fairy, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, the Moon, the Emperor, the Fool, the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, Temperance. I mean, the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords is, you know, like holding on to confusion, um, you know, like holding on to things that hurt. Um, and I just kind of feel like there's the sense of like, you've been holding on to something that was kind of hurting you, you know, which I feel like was almost this, like, but I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to do, I want to do, I want to do. But I feel like I'm obligated to be like in this one spot. And I just kind of feel like whatever that one spot was, it was just like weighing on you that you were holding on to. I feel like it's blossomed as like this home base, this home ground for you so that you can be free to go in all of the directions that you want to go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I mean, this is like a new truth, new relationship. I feel like things are turning around for you. Your hard work and dedication has paid off and you're, and you're able to really start moving in the directions as they present themselves to you because that is another thing about Sagis that I have always loved is that you could you go out with the Sag listen you might go out saying you're going to do this but then this presents itself so you end up doing that and then you do this and then you do that and then you do that and then you do that because when you go you meet people you know like and you talk to everybody and then the more people you talk to the more you learn the more you learn the more places you want to go the more places you go the more things you do you know what I mean it's just kind of like and then it just like la adventure <laughs> um you know and I feel like as you experience this adventure there's a part of you that just feels really free and and you know like almost like giddy about it you're like is it, like I can't believe I'm getting away with this you know what I mean like I can't believe this is my life right now and and I love that for you guys but I just feel like like it also is just backed with this sense of solidity, which is almost that, like that like that home base part, right? Like that I'm I have I have all that I need to go, you know, and and it safely adventure in the directions that I want to adventure in. Set love. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Again, you have it twice now. New relationship. Well, Sag, it's been in y'all's read for a minute. You know, just this idea of like having a new relationship. Um, Six of Pentacles. Well, in this deck in particular, it just kind of reads as the, you know, steal from Peter to give to Paul. Um, and I want to say like in your last ones, it's kind of been this idea of like being emotionally detached from things. And I feel like whatever it is that you're doing that you're like all in on, it, it's like removing this I'm like well I have to keep this to myself to you know or keep this from you to give it to me and you know, I don't know you know just kind of that there's some really stingy energy there um, you know but I just kind of feel like that stingy energy that you've been holding on to that's been leaving you really confused is just like no more um, you know like whatever this this experiences that you've had that's just kind of like lifted your spirits and lifted your energy is is sending you in this new direction and I just feel like you're you're going you know I don't know where you're going or what you're doing or who you're going with but 
it like I don't get the feeling that it matters. I don't think that there's like a specific destination in mind. I think that the, like the destination that you are on is one of uh, like I want an I want an adventurous life. I want to be able to go wherever I want to go, whenever I want to go. I don't want to be limited. I don't want to be, you know, I, like what? I don't want to be locked down in a lease. I don't want to be, you know, like trapped in a mortgage. I don't want to be, you know, like surrounded by concrete and loud noises all the time. You know, like I want to be able to, to bounce in and bounce out and then go here and then do that and then be here and learn this. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're really like, that's what you're doing. Um, and you're letting go of holding on to an idea that you have to be in one place. And I think allowing for the, like the idea of being in lots of places. Um, because I just, I just could never imagine a Saji being stuck in one spot for the rest of their lives. <laughs> um, that just like, it just like doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but Sagis, um, I hope so very, did we do a last card for you? I can't remember now. We'll just do one more really quick. Well, not that one, because I just put all your cards away. So let me take those ones off. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll do one last card for Sagis. The poet. Yes. I mean, the poet is just the ability to like find beauty in, in everything. And I feel like there's almost like a journalist, journalistic approach to, to life that I feel, um, you know, like in the poet's energy, because the poet, um, you know, like the poet is, is the authentic, the authentication of the experience, you know? Like, like if a picture is worth a thousand words or like the poet's expression is worth, you know, like a million emotional memories, <laughs> you know, um, you know, that incite that, that passion and that, that experience, that joy. Um, and I just, I feel like that's happening for you, Saj, and I fucking love it. All right, y'all, if this did resonate, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Um, it helps so very much and I really do appreciate it. If this is where we part ways, please do give me, you know, that like, share and subscribe and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.